have a large coffee with three milks and two Splendas, please? Three milks and Splendas? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, would you like to add something for a dollar? No, thank you. Two fifteen, please verify your receipt for eleven. I don't want cookies. <laughs> like, they always ask, like, don't you think if I wanted cookies, I would ask for cookies? Like, from McDonald's? Like, ugh, I hate that. Every single time. One time, do you want to add fries to your coffee? Uh, no. I just want my coffee. Can I cafe? Yeah. Thank you. Mm, if anyone's going to ask, I didn't get any more lip injections. I... Oh, was I supposed to pay that window? I am not wearing any other makeup, so my lips probably look bigger than they actually are. But I am planning on getting more lip injections. Hi. Large coffee? Yes, please. Thank you. Napkin? No, it's fine. Thank you. Mm, that was a nice woman. My throat. I need some coffee. So it is now around 2, and I did everything I had to do at my house, like... <laughs> Um, working on emails and also I edited a video two videos so that's good um, and now whoo I see and now I'm on my way to pick up one of my best friends Tristan I'm so excited to see her because I haven't seen her in forever and uh, she's like one of those friends that if even if I don't see her for like a year we still talk all the time and when we're together it's just like we were never apart her and I we met our for orientation day at CJEP which is like college, it's like a weird Quebec thing. It's one of the many reasons why I find Quebec so annoying. Um, but we met our first day of orientation and our program, we were in the call program, which is creative arts, literature, and languages. And we were in the communications program. And it's like, okay, if you go to that school, I don't even know how to say this, but like, it's a very, like that program especially, it's like very hipster. Like, everyone wants to be, like, filmmakers or stuff like that or, like, producers or everything like that. And um, people always doubted Tristan and I, and we kind of, like, became really close really fast. Her and I are very, very similar, and everyone always thought, I guess by what we wore um, and, like, how we talk and everything, everyone thought we were just, like, these stupid little ditzes. Meanwhile, we're getting, like crazy marks and like doing so well like always having the best projects I personally like I always love being doubted whether it's with my business or YouTube or work or my mind or anything I love being doubted because when I succeed it's like haha in your face I liked Seja because I liked the classes I was taking um, and it came very easy to me like radio video production all that stuff came very easy to me I think a lot to do with YouTube because I was so used to talking on camera. Um, so when I would do radio and everyone would be like whispering into the mic and like stuttering and everything and they didn't know how to edit, like I would, my assignments were always like really, really good just because I already knew how to do all those things. I knew how to like enunciate and I knew how to project. And so everyone was always like, oh my gosh, like your, your things are so good. And I'm like, yeah, I've had a little bit of practice and like videos, I knew how to edit. I knew how to edit so, um, I, it came very easy to me, but I think to have a career in communications, you need to be very passionate about, you know, that stuff. And even though it came very easy to me and I did very, very well, I did not have the passion for it. Like, I don't want to be on the news. I don't want to be on the radio. Um, even though I'm good at it, it's just not something that I want to do. So, yeah. So even though I graduated with communications, Oh my god, stupid idiot. Ugh. Even though I graduated with communications, I didn't want to do it. Ugh. One of the Okay, so I met two of the girlfriends last month for a birthday dinner and two of us really hit it off. And I was telling one of them, Elizabeth, uh, about the chair, a chair that I bought, the clear Louis Ghost replica chair, whatever. And I wanted to go get another one, but they were all sold out and I was so upset. I was like, I should have just bought two, but I didn't. So she was so sweet. One, we were at a hockey game, and during intermission, one game, she called the Saint, the the winners, and they didn't have. And she called the winners near her because she's from a different area of Quebec, and they didn't have. And then she went to her hairdressers, and her hairdressers had like a bunch of those chairs in the waiting room, and she asked where she got them, and she ended up going to the store where the hairdresser told them she got them from, and she bought me one, and I was just like, that really touched me because honestly. 
not people don't really do that stuff for me like I've never like no one ever really does that for me like little gestures like that like just the fact that she like called and like asked and went to the place and picked up the chair like it's just like honestly the sweetest sweetest thing and uh you know I'm a very like I'm the type of person where I don't have a lot of friends I have a close group of friends um but I don't like have a lot of acquaintances I don't have people that I don't truly like I have little friends okay little friends I have friends that like I consider like my best friends like people that like like Tristan, Nikki, do I turn here? No, like Tristan, Nikki, Liz, Sierra, um, Brandon, like I have like a close knit group of friends, uh, but like, I, and I have a lot of like acquaintances. Are you, sorry, are you, what are you doing? Fuck. I have like a lot of acquaintances, um, but like I don't hit it off with a lot of people. Like I'm a friendly person and like it's nice like when I see them and like we chit chat whatever but I don't have a lot of people that like I really I don't know if that makes any sense like I don't have a lot of people that I'm really like I really just like click with you know like you mesh and I just really meshed with both of them and they're just like so sweet. I think it's also nice that both of them understand like the lifestyle of having a boyfriend who plays ho like junior hockey because everything that like I feel my friends they're like oh yeah but like they don't truly understand it because it really is different it's it sometimes it's hard it is hard um so it's nice to have two other girls who just like get it and uh, you know understand okay so i'm on tristan's i haven't seen her since last month i'm hoping she wants to go to mucho burrito um yeah i'm gonna text her i'm here i don't know I just like I have a lot of friends and like people I, I know a lot of people but I don't consider a lot of people friends and I consider them friends and it's just like this they're so sweet speaking of friends it's my friend Vicky's birthday she's one of the girls I met and her birthday is on Saturday so we're probably gonna go out to eat before the game oh she's so cute so I want to go get her the Kat Von D shade and light palette oh my god <laughs> Hi, I queen. Slip, no, I know. You're so cute in your little gray outfit. Oh, <laughs> um, you want to see what I got? Yeah. It's really nothing, though. It's well, literally no one ever buys me little presents. Dollar. Oh my god. I'm the queen. <laughs> Of you. Oh my gosh, she got me it's little cheating. socks that says I'm the queen. Okay, you? do you want to tell them about how you started calling people mom, like in grade? Okay, I'm. Okay, but. And also, I started calling people queen, like, so. Yeah, long no, like ago. a long time ago, like three years ago. Yeah, and now everyone calls. Okay, I'm not even joking. Like, since grade eight or nine, like, I've been calling my friends mom. Yeah, that's like the first thing you said to me when we met at orientation. Uh, oh, I said that to you? Well, you're probably like, okay, bye, mom. Or like, I knew like that's something that you said. And then everyone who, oh, who's around her, except for me, starts saying it. Yeah. And I always felt like it was her thing. So like, I never started saying it. No, but I like when my friends say it, but like. I know, but I just feel like it's not my thing. But you if know? you're not my friend, like why? <laughs> Look, there's no rattling. Oh my God, good. <laughs> Nicole, there's no rattling. <laughs> what do you feel like doing? Yeah, what are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh. So we are at Mucho mm -hmm. Burrito. We just talked with George and Tristan Love got him. a um, quesadilla. Mm -hmm. And I got a burrito bowl with some lettuce and chips and Dye Dash Pepper. And it's so good. We're gonna get a churro after. Yeah. If you come to Mucho Burrito, you need to get a churro. It comes with caramel sauce, I don't get it. She broke mine, but it's so good. They're fresh and they're so good. Tristan didn't get a churro. In the bathroom, I put my hair up, and my outfit is this sweater from Zara. Leggings are Lululemon, <laughs> and my so fabulous necklace. And then Tristan is wearing. We oh, have, I have those Uggs too. Though. You can't even see. These are Lululemon. I have those Uggs. Then These are. This is from Pink, a new sweater. Oh, okay. You this is friends? what's in her purse. Yeah, sure. And that's her Tub Baker thing. But is this your favorite? This is it? A, yeah. A you want to try it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a matte lip paint? That's a matte, um, can you film it? This, this lighting isn't good. I like to do that and then... No, I just full, went whole hog and put it on. But yeah, my eyes are black eyes today. This, in this sweater, you can't even tell if you have a shape. 
And then that's my purse. And Tristan's purse. And what's in my purse? Yeah.